What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are here for my Platinum 1 deck profile. We are finally got it done, we got all the way there with uh, Gemini FTK in the end. After a few days off of me not playing it, I decided to get back into it this morning, and pretty much grounded my way all the way through. So we started today at Plat 4, I think it was Plat 4 or Plat 5. Just went on a win streak the whole way through until we got to the final match, and then we dropped the final match. Then just had to win the next two, and now we're, uh, we're finally Plat 1. But let's get into my Gem Knight FTK deck profile. We'll also have a small combo video at the, a small combo video at the end, uh, because I, as a part of one of these ten matches, I guess that took me to climb through wherever I was or whatever the the win streak that I went on was, I had a really awkward hand to play out, and I thought it was really interesting. So we're gonna have that at the end of this. So this is going to be my list. So let's go. Where is it? Edit deck. Ah. Okay, so this is my Gym Knight FTK list. So, your pretty standard line at the start of the three copies of Lapis, three copies of Lazuli, three Crystal Rose, and three Obsidian. Uh, these are like mandatory, play all these cards at three. Especially with the Ad Emancipator line, the three Crystal Rose is very, very good. Essentially, if you hit a Crystal Rose off an Ad Emancipator, you just foolish whatever you need. Uh, if you've opened a Reborn spell, that's full combo, but yeah, it. Crystal Rose toolbox is everything, and it, extend, and it extends itself back out into the board as you're convoying off. Uh, then after that, we of course have our Ad Emancipator line, so we've got the three, uh, sorry, just two copies of Analyzer, uh, three Researcher, and then two of the other one, it's Seeker. Yeah, uh, Seeker, Analyzer at two, Researcher at three. Uh, then I mentioned it before, but yeah, the three Obsidian. Uh, the reason why we still play the Ad Emancipator line in this deck is because it does add a level of consistency to the deck. Uh, Ad Emancipators by themselves aren't full combo unless you open two of them and they both hit a Gem Knight. At which point you've got the FTK, there's no problem stressing about that. Uh, but yeah, by themselves they're not amazing, which is why we're only playing two of the ones that don't just freely special summon the source if you, if you contain a rock. Uh, of course you can always search these off your Block Dragon, which is something else that we play. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the reason why we're playing a slimmed down ratio of these. Uh, then of course we have probably the best normal summon in the deck to be fully resolving is your Gem Armadillo. Uh, you do have to have a follow up for Gem Armadillo to be really good, but at the end of the day, it's a gem monster, it can be used to go into the link and it provides you a search. If it provides you a search and then you can fusion summon off with the stuff in your hand, and then you summon another fusion, say you've then just linked the two off and then away you go. Uh, that's pretty much the way you would normally do that. Uh, there are other situations that come up when you're going second as well, where you can special summon your analyzer then uh, normal summon your gem armadillo, it nets a search, and then you can go into your gallant granite, and then that's that's good times. Uh, then yeah, of course, block dragon rounds out the rest of the main deck. Uh, of course, I realized halfway through the live stream that I did the other night, that is available if you do want to watch me playing this deck extensively. Uh, yeah, the union carry was legal, so this became so much better once I realized that, hey, I can just play union carry and then almost guarantee this every single hand. Uh, then we go into our spell line. We have the one Monster Reborn, of course. It's a free extension piece, so why wouldn't we be playing it? Uh, three copies of Gem Knight Fusion after that. Our card is not once per turn on either of its effects, so it's absolutely busted. Uh, then we have the three copies of Unexpected Die. Of course, you're going to be special summoning the Lapis from the deck. That, of course, gets you to your Link 2, which is what you want to be doing. Uh, three copies of Ad Emancipator Signs. Again, generic Reborn spell. It's not once per turn. If you bring back an Ad Emancipator, you can special summon, uh, add to the top of the deck then that will pretty much guarantee you all the different lines and things that you need to be doing. Uh, Brilliant Fusion, another card that's actually not that necessary in this deck anymore. Uh, back in the day, Brilliant Fusion was the one card FTK. Uh, nowadays, it, it does still do a lot of work, uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not as good as what it used to be. I typically use it to either get access to a Crystal Rose or access to a Block Dragon. And of course, it does provide you that free body on board as well, which is something that is good. Of course, that's good. Uh, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not the, the best card. Uh, then, I only played the one copy of Call by the Grave. I assume that we are going to be getting a ban list update on this once the uh, the ranked season ends on the 1st of February. Uh, so, yeah, that's the reason why I only chose to craft one Call by the Grave, because we only have one Call by the Grave here at the TCG. Uh, for our extra deck, we do have the one copy of Seraph Knight. Not as useful as you would think it is. Uh, I typically use it here just to fuse off my Crystal Rose or the Union Carrier. Uh, which is a cute thing that you can do if you have like Union Carrier and then one Gem Knight, you equip the Block Dragon to the Gem Knight, activate your Gem Knight Fusion and fuse into the Seraph Knight, and then you just net big searches after that. Uh, if you want to from that point, you can search your Armadillo or search your Analyzer, and then I'd go, yeah, the Seeker Researcher if you're going to go that line. Otherwise, I would normally off the Block Dragon just be searching one Obsidian, one Lapis, one Researcher, or two Obsidian and a Researcher. 
uh, it's normally just the best way to go unless you want to get access to that crystal rose but getting into the graveyard can be a little bit tricky once you've already made your seraph knight it is a rock so you can go into generic rock boy uh then after that we have our three copies of lapis lazuli uh you need them to be able to facilitate the ftk uh two copies of big rock boy uh this seems dumb but he is just there to churn resources out of your hand and put them in the graveyard so you want to be maximizing on as many random resources as you can at any time. So making Zakona is often the best line of play. Just to make a Zakona, get stuff out of your hand, it gets it on board. Then when you link off your Zakona or you use it to fusion something, something else, you can then get access to your Crystal Rose coming back, get that foolish off, and then you can get more resources back that way. It basically just makes your board wider. That's effectively why we're playing the Zakona. It makes your board as wide as possible to facilitate the FTK essentially happening because you need to have six special summon monsters on the board for two burns and then four for one burn and that's how the, we essentially do it uh the card after that is gem knight uh, it's master diamond of course master diamond is at one in the tcg because it facilitates this entire ftk uh you can play this card at three uh i just played it at two because it wasn't super necessary um at three like at three guarantees your ftk through a lot of extra hand traps this deck typically plays through one to two hand traps with no problems as long as your hand isn't complete garbage. So the three Master Diamond isn't as necessary as you think it would be. Uh, there are times though where you may need like an extra thousand cheese damage and the third Master Diamond would come in. So I would recommend fitting it in. Honestly, the card you can probably cut is the next card, uh, Lady Brilliant Diamond. Uh, Lady Brilliant isn't that good. Again, uh, Lady Brilliant is essentially just a transitional piece to turn a little card into a big card when you need to do that. Uh, but typically that doesn't come up like i don't use lady brilliant diamond as far as like as much as i used to back when i did this deck back in the day uh yeah it's just not that necessary with the out emancipator lines and everything that adds so much more levels of consistency to the deck especially with union carrier and you've, you've got the halc which doesn't come up as much as you think it would uh that then gets into our xes it's gallant granite uh only ever comes up in that one situation i described earlier where you're going second and you have the analyzer and the uh the gem armadillo uh, the two copies of the Link, so that is Phantom Quartz. Uh, Phantom Quartz is essentially what makes this entire deck work. Uh, you Link Summon it, you search the Fusion spell. If you already have the Fusion spell, you search Obsidian. Uh, unless you don't have access to a Lazuli. Or Lapis, sorry. Uh, that's the one time you search the Lapis. But yeah, typically, always go Fusion spell. If Fusion spell's there, you grab the Obsidian. Because the Obsidian's going to get your Lapis back from Graveyard. Again, makes your board wider, makes everything work. Uh, then we have the one copy of Halk. Uh, this is just for condensing your Adam Emancipator lines to get more Gem Knight based special summons onto your board. Uh, yeah, it comes up quite a lot. Uh, after that, we have the one Union Carrier. Uh, yeah, of course, it's Union Carrier. We've discussed that already. Equips Block Dragon from the deck. And then one last card is the Access Code Talker. You can probably cut this Access Code Talker. I only ever used it in the boards where I was going second and needed to like break a lot of back row. Uh, save my opponent like was playing a lot of floodgates that kind of mess with me a little bit access code was where it came in access code just generally was here if i couldn't get to the ftk and needed to just completely wipe my opponent's board to make sure they weren't playing uh well i guess it's an otk at that point when you're going second but yeah access code's just there to wipe the board make them start from scratch and typically you'll present almost lethal when you do go that line of play uh but yeah now we'll get into a combo video this combo video is essentially just going to be uh, what happens when you have not the best hand. Okay, so here we are for my Gem Knight test hand. Oh, it's not a test hand. This is one of my rank matches. This is in Platinum 2, I believe. Uh, we're essentially going to have to reverse the order of the FTK. So we're going to have to go into a 2,000 burn, then two lots of 3,000 burn. Uh, it's a rather awkward way to play this deck. Then we'll hit, you'll hit a point where you think, I can't do the FTK. And then it will essentially just unwind in front of you as you start getting resources back into your hand and you realize, no, I can definitely get there here. Uh, so of course we're going to go into the Gem Knight Fusion. We're going to have to go into it early. So of course we're going to go to the Zakona play. Our Zakona play is going to stack our graveyard, which is what we discussed earlier. I'm going to add back that Gem Fusion. The Zakona is just here to get that Crystal Rose back on a board so we can present that initial 2000 damage. So we're going to go into the Lapis Lazuli. Of course, we're going to now net that Crystal Rose, banishing out that Zakona, getting it back. Going to use its effects, send the Lazuli. You're always sending Lazuli off your Crystal Roses once you get into the swing of things, because it's going to be adding back your Lapis every time. We get access to that Gem Knight Fusion again. Then we can Quartz. Uh, burning the Quartz this early is normally really bad. It normally spells disaster. 
But given the fact that we can still go into that uh, Master Diamond, does leave it there for a later play. Now we're going to lose the, use the Lazuli. Burn for 2k. That, of course, will net that Lava Lazuli effect. Gets the two Lapises in hand. You know, now spin them out. I believe this is going to go for another Zakona. Again, just trying to make the board as wide as possible. Because at this point, you can now go into the a Union Carrier. That's going to then include equip a Block Dragon to the Lapis Lazuli. Because you will notice we don't have a Lapis Lazuli in Grave here. So this Lapis Lazuli needs to go so our Master Diamond can work successfully. So now I'm going to Banish out. Add that. And then we're going to go into a Seraph Knight. Like I said before, Union Carriers are light. Seraph Knight's the best way to go in these situations. Uh, you don't want to normal summon off the Seraph Knight, however, because that's not a special summon monster, so your Master Diamond wouldn't present lethal. So holding that Seraph Knight is overall the best way to go here. Of course, we're going to add the double Obsidian because we already have a Lapis in rotation. We're going to banish one of them out to get our Gem Knight Fusion back. Special Eye Researcher, of course. Just overall trying to see what we can get to. We've hit the Lazuli here, so we're not going to be too stressed about resources. Game is very much presented at this point. It's going to be special summoning out that Lazuli, hitting the Gem Knight Fusion off, spinning the three. The Lazuli just made it so much easier. So we're just going to slap down that Master Diamond. The Obsidian's going to trigger, of course, summoning back the Lazuli to, uh, Lapis to the field. And now guess what? We've got two 3,000 burns for Master Diamond. Uh, this is the best way to kind of get this deck working in these situations. I'm fairly sure I'm about to have an alarm go off on my phone, so I do apologize if that's going to uh, wreck the end of this video. There it is. We're going to stop that. But uh, yeah, that was my Plat 1 Gem Knight FTK video. Uh, deck's really, really good. Of course, it's not going to be legal for the TCG once that uh, new ban list comes around, but it is still a fun deck that you can mess around with. It becomes a much more gambling-centric deck. Uh, you need to be playing stuff like Unicorn to spin things back and everything like that. But yeah, it's it's quite funny. But as always, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG, and have a good afternoon, everybody.